In this video I'm going to share 9 niches with you that are going to sell well during September and that you should be designing for right now if you want to pick up some extra sales in the next month. On top of that, at the end of the video I'm going to show you a niche that always does extremely well during September, however you should definitely not sell this one, at least not on Merch by Amazon, it definitely will lead to removals and uh, might get your account terminated. So the first niche I've got for you is Childhood Cancer. The reason being it is Childhood Cancer Awareness Month during the month of September. So a lot of these designs are going to sell a lot better once September rolls around. And uh, one quick uh, like disclaimer here is that the word gold is in a lot of these designs. However, I think it is a banned word. So you can't include it in your listing, but you would get rejections for it most likely because Amazon doesn't want its customers to think that there's like a, a gold print. It's just a normal print. It doesn't look actually gold with sparkles and that stuff. So yeah, do stay away from using that word in your listings, but that doesn't mean that you can't enter this niche. A lot of these designs have golden or yellowy designs and you can still do that, no problem. One good example is this one right here, proud brother of a childhood cancer warrior. So you could swap out the word brother with uh, different family members so that they can show support. Mom of a warrior, there's another example right there. Some of them have uh, cross niched it with the American flag. We've got some mama bear designs here as well. Think outside the box, maybe even try some shirts that only have the yellow color available. That way you stand out in the search results and people will want to wear gold or yellow. <laughs> in our case, it's the only clothes color available. So uh, yeah, that's definitely going to help maybe get you some more click throughs and a quick look at one of the detail pages of one of these childhood cancer designs. We can see that uh, in the sales graph, the BSR right now is at around 300, 500,000. And last year, during September, the BSRs went all the way down to about 70K. Did it go lower? No, but that's a really good BSR. Uh, throughout the whole year, very low, around the 1 million mark. And now it is slowly starting to trend down in BSR. So now's the time to get into this niche and get your designs ready for Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. Niche number two is Mexico. And the reason I'm sharing this one with you is because it is Mexican Independence Day on the 16th of September. And I just had a quick look and the population of Mexican Americans within the USA is 11% as of 2019. So there is a massive customer base of people who will feel very passionate about their country and want to buy shirts to represent that on the Independence Day. And quite a lot of these t-shirts are already doing quite well. It's definitely an evergreen niche. However, we will see these trending down in BSR very, very soon. You can, rather than just uploading like flags and saying Mexico, you can uh, do, for example, designs aimed at women or at men specifically. These messy hair bun designs always do well. As you can see, this one here is cross-niching US with Mexico. So uh, Mexican-Americans would feel very prone to, to get this sort of thing. Um, there's obviously a lot of stuff with Mexican food as well that you could sell that uh, lots of people love. I, I love Mexican food myself. So uh, there's some ideas there how to cross niche. Um, definitely these messy hair bun designs, they're doing really well. Um, you see them in lots of niches and this Mexican one has lots of them as well. So maybe don't just sell it as a graphic, maybe think of a, a funny phrase to go along with it for the Mexican Independence Day. Maybe also think of um, ways to cross niche with alcohol because if people celebrate, alcohol will most definitely be involved. Very soon after the Mexican Independence Day, we've got Red Panda Day on the 18th of September. So that is why I'm suggesting this animal to you. There's definitely some very cute designs in this niche. Um, it's a very cool looking animal. And uh, one tip I can give you here as well is to include the actual phrase Red Panda Day somewhere in your listing because people will be looking for that specifically when it comes close to the date and uh, then you can appear in those search results as well. Um, you definitely want to have some nice, cute looking graphics of red pandas in your design uh, to have a chance of getting sales. One quick tip as well, this day, uh, the way I found out about it is uh, by looking at the sidebar right here in PODCS and going to social media holidays. And uh, what that will bring up is just a long list of uh, different sort of celebrations. And uh, if you click at September, for example, over here on the sidebar, you can just scroll through this 
and uh, find other niche ideas as well. This is how I found Red Panda Day and uh, many of the other niches and I'm pretty sure you can access that feature for free. You can sign up via the link in the description and uh, get access to all of these cool dates right here. Niche number four that's going to see an increase in sales during the month of September, uh, at least for this year, is volleyball. And the reason I say this year is because it is the World Volleyball Championship. Uh, the men's one is from the, I have to double check this, I can't remember the dates, but it is the 26th of August to the 11th of September. And then we've got the women's one straight after as well from the 23rd of September through to the 15th of October. So you've got two world championships for both men and women closely after one another. I don't know if these happen every year, so maybe this is specific to this year. So if you're watching this in the future, maybe look at different sports events that are happening during the month of September. Maybe there's like a football world cup or a, I don't know, baseball world cup, whatever, whatever sports are current for the time are definitely going to do better in sales. Uh, we can see a lot of designs selling well in this niche anyway. And it's definitely a good evergreen one to get into. And uh, one way to approach this for a world championship would be to cross niche these designs with different flags and different countries. That way, if uh, say, if America does really well in the volleyball championship and you've got American flag designs with volleyballs, then uh, those are definitely going to sell better. And you don't have to just Put your eggs all in one basket you could just cross niche with like 10 20 30 different flags or just just check which countries are included in the championship and cover all of those that way you increase the chance of uh, yeah being along sort of the designs that sell whilst it gets into the semi-finals finals where people really get passionate in supporting their home nation try and come up with some unique ideas to stand out in this niche and pick up some more sales during the volleyball championships the 21st of September this year is Alzheimer Awareness Day and that's why this niche right here, Alzheimer's, is going to get a lot more sales during that time and as usual, as per usual with these sort of awareness designs, there is a colour theme and it is purple. So uh, do create graphics with purple elements in them or if you wanted to just select the purple colour, uh, luckily we've got purple shirts on merch so you can only select that colour and then uh, create some nice white designs to, to go onto that. Now, one thing that I noticed is there's quite a lot of elephants within these graphics right here. So maybe that is uh, another element that you could add because that seems to be a common theme as we can see quite often in these niches as well. Uh, these rainbow type of designs uh, are doing quite well. Well, they're not doing amazing right now with like a 2 million BSR, but they'll definitely do a lot better once it is time for Alzheimer Awareness Day. So we do get your designs ready now and make sure to include a lot of purple or just create designs for purple backgrounds. Niche number six is sort of two niches in one. Um, I've typed in hunting right here, but basically it is National Hunting and Fishing Day on the 25th of September this year. And that's obviously going to mean that we will see an, an increase in sales within those two evergreen niches. Maybe you can cross niche hunting and fishing within the same design and that way you can sort of be specific for that uh, certain holiday or celebration. You can see one right here, fishing solves most of my problems, hunting solves the rest. So that's one idea maybe of how to cross niche here, hunting and fishing. Right, okay, people are already onto that idea, but uh, you could obviously come up with some of your own unique ways of how to include both of those hobbies in the same design. Uh, there's another cool one, American flag cross niche with hunting and fishing and camouflage theme. So yeah, if, you, if you're doing text designs, maybe adding camouflage to this because it's very common within the, the hunting sort of hobby. Definitely broad niches, but if you include that phrase hunting and fishing day, um, you're, you're sort of targeting a more specific audience because not everyone will include that phrase within their listings. And as we can see, a lot of these t-shirts are selling really well anyway. So whilst they see an increase for hunting and fishing day, they're already selling well all year round. So if you can pick up some easy sales during that trend, um, you could create yourself some evergreen designs that sell all year round. Right, for this next niche, I am on Amazon directly because PODCS didn't have many results for Pet Memorial. And uh, Pet Memorial Day is happening on the, I forgot the date, the 12th of September. So we're uh, quite early in the month. And a lot of people who have deceased dogs or cats or any other pets really might want to wear a t-shirt 
to remember their loved ones. Looking at specific designs for Pet Memorial Day, uh, there's one right here saying my angel has paws aimed at people um, with, with dogs and cats. Uh, mainly so uh, that's definitely one way to approach it the road to my heart is paved in paw prints so definitely often stuff with with paws and heaven and, and stuff like that my best friend lives in heaven right here but generally um, you might just see uh, cat and dog specific designs selling better during pet memorial day and uh, yeah just try and look for different design ideas maybe look for uh, maybe look on redbubble as well for ideas or, or etsy or the marketplaces uh, and definitely make sure to check for trademarks um, because heaven might be one of those words that might just be trademarked for t-shirts you never know so make sure to double check for that and uh, try and find some cool design ideas that are specifically for pet memorial day include that phrase in your listing and uh, yeah i'm sure you can pick up some sales in the month of september Next up on my list, we've got bacon because it is bacon day on the 3rd of September. So uh, if you like this food or if, if you think you can come up with some funny designs for bacon, then definitely try and enter this niche. Um, it is obviously a sub niche of food um, that does generally quite well anyway throughout the year. Bass is the bacon of music. <laughs> That's a cool idea to, to cross niche bacon with music right there. But yeah, anyway, Generally, it's just a lot of funny jokes and memes on these t-shirts, to be honest, that's, that's most of it. Powered by bacon, um, we've got an American flag made out of bacon and a pig, so yeah, quite funny. Um, bacon and eggs goes well together, so that, there's just another idea of how to um, create some unique designs for this niche. Trombone is the bacon of music, so people are using different instruments for this same phrase. I'm sure you can probably come up with uh, different funny ideas if, if this phrase isn't trademarked. You can probably come up with lots of different ideas of uh, using this phrase with not just instruments, but with other things as well. Um, very fun niche, a very cool one, and it's going to trend at the start of September. So have fun designing for this one. Niche number nine is programming. And the reason for me sharing this is because it is programmers day. On September the 13th, programming is quite a popular topic nowadays. There's so much programming that needs to be done and lots of people are interested in it and do it as a job. So um, lots of audience out there to buy these shirts or to get these shirts gifted to. There's quite a lot of intricate designs within the top sellers. Um, so for those, you might need to spend a lot of time to design them. But that doesn't mean that you can also come up with like more basic text designs like this one or this one, for example, that can also get some sales within the niche. Uh, do not sell this sort of style. That is, uh, well, once again, like a, a ripoff of Jurassic Park. So um, yeah, you don't want to allude to the Jurassic Park logo. It might get you into trouble with your merch account. Debugging is uh, sort of a sub niche that you often see selling within programming designs. So uh, sort of creating a funny dictionary entry for that. You can do that for, for different words or, or vocabulary within the programming niche. Code like a girl, so you could target different, different genders. You could um, maybe also cross niche with older people or retired programmers, stuff like that. So uh, try to come up with unique ideas for the programming job, for the programming niche. There's quite a lot of coffee cross niching as well that goes on in this niche right here, cat's coffee code. And lots and lots of angles of how to approach this niche and to try and pick up some extra sales during the month of September. And once again, this is a an evergreen topic. People are interested in programming all year round. Um, it's just going to see an increase in sales during sort of the 12th, 13th of September, um, which will help you get your evergreen designs recognized. And now to talk about the niche that you're not allowed to sell during the month of September, it is Patriot Day. And I don't mean generally patriotic designs. I mean the ones that are directly related to 9-11 uh, or the Twin Towers. Any designs like these ones right here are definitely a no-go and the reason for that if you're not sure is that in the content policy it says you're not allowed to sell designs related to human tragedy so uh, yeah things like this that say 9-11 that have the twin tower silhouettes in them are very very prone to getting removed so definitely do not sell them it's totally fine to have uh, general america designs like this 
uh, dinosaur one or with the sunglasses, the eagle, American flags, that's all pretty much fine and people will want to buy these for Patriot Day to um, well show their support for what happened but designs that specifically relate to the event are uh, definitely a no-go and will get into trouble so don't fall, fall into this trap you'll see a lot of these shirts trending within first week of September but definitely don't upload any yourself it is not safe it can definitely get you some removals and rejections and there we go that's my ideas of what to design right now to pick up more sales in the month of September and if you're still looking for more niche ideas, then I highly recommend you watch this video next where I share nine autumn niches that are going to sell during September, October and November.